Hey guys, it's me, Talia. Um, if you are new here, please hit subscribe, big, um, hit that bell. If you're not new here, um, hi again. I know, yes, my hair is wet. I just took a shower. I want to talk to you guys about people who are basically out there who are like adopted, who are trying to find their birth parents. I want to talk to you guys about this because. I've been thinking about doing this so many times and I think I want to, you know, just tell you guys, you know, what you should do, what you should not do. So there's a couple things that I learned, okay, is that if you're adopted and you know about your birth parents or whatever, you know, it's not always a good idea to find them. It's not because you don't know if they want you back, you don't know if they will say something negative to you and you will hate that forever. So what I do is that, I don't, I never do this, but, sorry, I have a hiccup, sorry. I never do this, but I always say to myself, do I want to or do I not want to? And a half of my body, there's a thing about wanting to. And there's another thing about not wanting to. And sometimes I can't really decide what to do in my life. What should I do? Like, do I want to know about my birth parents or not at all? So there is a problem. And I've been doing this all the time since I knew about it, since my friends told me. And I've been saying to myself, why? Like, what should I choose? And and if you guys are asking me, how did I know about this? Sorry. My mom kept saying Danielle so many times. And I was wondering, who is that person? I always never had a chance to say, who is that? And it turns out my mom, who I'm living with, actually lost, which is miscarriage. I did not know. Well, I didn't know that, but it got annoying to me. And I told my dad so many times, why does my mom say this? They lost it. And they told me different, different stories that my brother and I are both adopted. And my brother's okay with it. I don't know why, but, you know, I guess he is okay with it. I'm not. I've been trying to figure that out. Why am I not okay with it? Why am I not happy being adopted? Why in that circumstances or that whatever it's called, why am I not very happy? That's a really good question, you guys. A very good question. And I've been saying this to myself every time. Why am I not happy? What is really going on? And what can I do to make it happy? Is that one, to ignore it. Two, do something else, get your mind off of it. Three, or talk to a friend who will actually understand you and who are there for you, no matter what happens. And four, talk to your adopted parents who got you. All those choices I did, there's one choice I never did, is that finding out who they are, who do they look like, you know why? I'm scared because you never know if your parents actually really really wants you and you never know people who are adopted you're not the only one these are for you people who are adopted you are not the only one you are not um, the one who's there you're not alone at all so I can't like you know I would love to know and I decided not to this part of my side of my body always says, I don't want to know who my parents are. I don't want to know who my birth parents are. I will never want to know. No, no, no. And whenever I think about it sometimes, it says, I want to know who they are. I don't care. I want to run away. I want to know who they are. This one is always telling me this. But this one is always telling me the opposite. And I want you guys to give me a comment down below and tell me, what should I do? 
She actually listened to the other hand telling me that I should know who my adopted parent or who, I'm, sorry, my birth parents are, or should I just live in this nice house, very nice house. I have a room. They never sold me. They love me. Or should I have a parents who wanted to sell me off the streets and they think they can get money? No. So I decided to myself, taking the good side and not the bad side. The good side is just obsession, upsettingness. And this good side has so much love. Because my birth parents, all I know from her is that she had me, you know, she had me, did not even see me, walked away. And for you guys who are not adopted or anyone, I want you guys to know, if you are adopted and if your parents gave birth to you and walked away, how would you feel? How would you exactly feel in your life, in your heart, right here? How would you feel if someone did that? You will feel really hurt. I don't know nothing about my, my birth mom. Nothing. Do I want to know about her? Probably not. Do I always feel like thinking about it? Yes, I do. Does it bother me? Yes, it does. Is there a way to stop it? Yes. Is there a way to find out? No. Because the judge has everything in there. And no, I don't, I don't always think about, oh, should I go rob him and see about my birth mom? No. Because I don't want to be like her. I want to be me. And people who are adopted, always talk to your adopted parents because they know what to do. I usually never call my parents adopted because it's kind of really silly and it's kind of a little weird to say it. So I just call them mom and dad. So for people who are adopted, who are not adopted, I want you guys to think about this because, you know, there's a lot of people and a lot of things you don't know about people who are adopted. And sometimes it, it bothers that person because it bothers them the most and it hurts. For me, I try so hard to not worry about it. Think about something good. Think about, say, like someone's coming to your house to sleep over. Someone is coming. Your boyfriend's coming. Always try to think not negative, but something good. And I've been trying to do this ever since because if you're thinking about negative, that's very upsetting. And I don't know why would people do that. But why would people talk about negative things, you know? Why would people do that? And for me, I've been thinking about it. Like, should I actually talk to my birth mom? Should I actually talk to my birth father? No. Why would I do that? So, I want you guys to tell me, comment down below, and what you guys think about this. Because if you guys have something in your heart out, tell me, you know? Because I like to know, you know? I mean, if you guys are adopted, and if you guys are adopted, that's cool. You're not alone. And what my old friends did in my high school, they touched me very hard. What they said to me was amazing I cried and they said to me oh I wish I was adopted and that touched me and I asked I asked them why and they said to me because my parents really don't really keep an eye on me they really don't talk to me and that felt really good for me because I thought being adopted was something different you know but when someone tells you that, oh, oh, that's so cool, you should be proud that you are adopted. You should say, I am proud that I'm adopted. Out loud and get it out of your system and just say that, I am glad I'm adopted. Just say it, that you are glad who you are and that you will always be glad. Because when you have that in your body, deep side, and it just like, makes you feel uncomfortable and it makes you 
feel like, you know, you're trapped. Go outside and say, I'm adopted. I am proud to be adopted. I don't care what people say in life. Okay? So people who are adopted, go outside and yell and scream and just say, I'm happy I'm adopted and I'm so glad. Because I might do that actually. Matter of fact, I might actually do it. Because, you know, why not? So what? Just say why not and be freedom. Be happy. Be who you are. And I always say, and I actually made the song. And my song is like, be who you want to be. Be you. Be freedom. It's like, we do have freedom. So, people who are adopted, you should be very happy. I try so hard to be happy. I try to encourage people that you should be who you are. You should be happy. And I should listen to myself because sometimes you get in a bad mood or you say, Oh, I hate my mom. I wish I went to a different mom. No. That's all the anger. Is your anger going to fix your problems? No. Is your anger ever going to tell you what to do? No. You can control it? Yes. You can always control your anger. You can always take it and smush it all into pieces and do something. So, you know this is your anger, right? It's just a tissue, but since it's, this is like your anger, right? And how you control all this anger, all of it, it's in here. And how do you control it? You don't let it out and say something. You crunch it and say, no, you're not going to get angry. You're not going to do this. You're not going to do any of that stuff. But when your anger tries to get out of the shell and tries so hard, you can always say it in your head. When you are angry, the best way to do it is in your head. Because if you do it in your head, you're okay. If you do it out loud, you're not okay. So, yes, always put your anger in a tiny little box like this, all right? Put it in a cute little, you know, box and put it in here and just let it calm down. If you smush it, it's not because it can be, like your anger is how you feel. Your anger is so you can do whatever. But, you know, our anger can be really bad, you know. I know everyone's, everyone gets angry. Can we control it? Yes, we can. Can we forget about it? We can. But sometimes you don't want to forget about it. Sometimes you, ho you will hold a garage or a garage or whatever people call it. And you always want to just do something. You know what? How I do my anger, I put it in here. Like right now, in a tiny little box, okay? Look how cute this, you know what? Please have a, a round of applause because I think I did a gray box. <laughs> so put your tissue, like your anger, like pretend this is your anger. You put your, you put your anger in a box and you put it down here and you put your other hand down here. And you're saying it in your head, cursing, yelling, having a fit or whatever and you say it so badly you want to hold it like you really want to hold it on but you really want to get it out like crazy which one is the best thing to do <coughs> take it out in the box and say it or close it and just say no i'm going to do the right thing i'm going to be mature and i'm not going to do it that is what you should do that is what people should do. And some people don't really do it. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, some people actually don't put it in the box. They let it out. Why? I don't know why. But always do is that don't let your anger get in the way of your day. Yes, sure, you're upset, but we have reasons. I have reasons. And slowly I'm trying to like get away from my reasons and be a smart person and don't do it because I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to be upset of myself. I love who I am. 
And if someone, so you know what? So I'm gonna say this to you guys, and I think this is the first one I'm gonna say this. <coughs> Whenever someone's having a girl in their belly, if you know what I mean by that, if someone is pregnant and they're having a girl, how I felt, I'm sad. And you guys are asking me, what? Why? Huh? Huh? Why? Because in the back times, when I was a child, it was hard. It was hard. You know, you want to feel happy. But it's so funny because when someone's having a boy and they're pregnant, I'm okay with it. Why? And that is the only key I'm trying to figure it out. Why am I obsessed with people who are pregnant with a daughter? Or why am I not happy with that? I've been trying to find that key all the time. And I might actually go to a psychiatrist to find out what's been going on with me lately. Why am I not so happy? Maybe they'll figure out why. But... I don't know when I'm going to the psychiatrist, guys, but I will let you guys know when I'm going because I don't want to be like this all my life. I want to be happy, you know? I want to be very happy. I want to be like everyone else, you know? So I'm just trying so hard to find the missing key, unlock it, and maybe make me feel better, you know? Maybe make me feel like something can change so if you want to comment me down below and tell me guys how you feel okay and i will love to watch it i will love to see it okay thanks for watching me guys and i hope you have a really great day thanks bye